business skill development course part b is all about placement training in six semesters skill development is divided into part a and b a is all about internship training report and b is about placement training so in this session let me brief you about the university guidelines and the marks allotted and what is the pattern in which you are expected to write your record book and attend the viva os the objective of this program is to prepare the students for corporate placements and for report writing the marks awarded is 50 viva os is 25 in case an individual has been selected, a student being selected by any company, they will be provided an offer letter or confirmation letter or even being shortlisted when a student submits such document, he or she will be given even 25 marks. And next week, the college is organizing placement drive in the campus. A job meda is going to be held and BBA students are expected to participate in the job mela and definitely you will be securing an offer letter on which you'll be awarded 25 marks. If not through job mela, otherwise on your own, you can approach companies and get the offer letter and that will enable you to fetch 25 marks. So in total, report writing 50, Viva was 25 and offer letter is 25 together, 100 marks is awarded for this paper. So let's get into understanding what has to be written in your record book. You have to focus on these five areas. First is you have to write your resume and attach a passport size photo with it and different types of selection test. What are the present tests the companies are conducting for recruiting freshers of BBA course? And what is email manners or etiquette corporate etiquette and work discipline. So I will brief you one by one. So it will be helping you to write your record book. So there's no one standard format for resume or curriculum writing. So I've taken an example of one format where you will be writing your name in bold, your passport size photograph, write your email address, permanent address, contact number, and personal details. That is your father's name, date of birth, nationality Indian, and marital status. What is your career objective? Your academic profile. When did you complete your highest degree? That is BBA program, institution name, 12 standard details, 10 standard details with percentage. And if you are good at computers, your computer proficiency, and if you have obtained any certificate, you have to mention them. And what are you good at competencies and your projects which you have undertaken in the college that can be mentioned. And if you are given any student seminar, even that details can be specified. This is one of the easiest and simple profile, which is a one page profile. Let me take you another example. So this profile is also of a fresh graduate. So the name, so these are the details of communication. Make sure your email ID is not having any crazy or fancy names like rock star, boss all these are not accepted at corporate level let it be your combination of your name and your initials so avoid having crazy email id then what is your career objective academic profile computer skills other specific skills like gsd tax returns bookkeeping and what are your strengths at like good communication skills, positive attitude, you're a hardworking individual, you adapt and learn quickly, and what are your special hobbies, and personal information. Here, they have given even the languages known. For certain job languages, known becomes very important, like marketing and HR. So finally, you write here as a declaration. I hereby declare that all of our information is true to the best of my knowledge and belief. You will specify the place, date, and signature. Let me take another sample. Similarly, the data has been provided. You have it categorized into five headings like career objective, academic project, educational qualification, personal liberties, technical skills, and you can add one more section as your personal details. So this is the first thing which you're going to write in your record is your resume. Let's move on to next. You need to know which are the latest jobs opening for for BBA Freshers 2022. So I've taken few companies here, which is all available. Immediately you can apply and take up the test. So like Ericsson, Emphasis, Grow, Talento, TCS, UA, and these are the companies who are looking for freshers with zero experience. 
and they've also mentioned the location where you're going to work. And when you click on these links, you'll be able to apply for the job. So based on this, you have to know what are the tests which they are going to assess you about. Talent is a combination of core traits. Traits means qualities and characteristics. And what are your acquired skills? So they will assess you. So they will assess your core traits, such as personality traits, behavior, and cognitive, that is intelligence. Acquired is what are the domain skills you have now acquired through your academic qualifications and other technical courses coding skills and communication skills. So based on these trends, I've given you in the next session about few questions, which are common type of questions. In your record book, you can write 10 questions of aptitude, analytical, communication, and general knowledge, current affairs. So that will help you to fetch better marks in your record book. So I have taken few samples for discussion, important aptitude questions and answers for freshers. So here we have a question. A and B together can finish your work in 30 days. They worked for it for 20 days and then B left the work. The remaining work was done by A alone in 20 days more. In how many days can A alone finish the work? So you have four choices and the answer is D, that is 60 days. A merchant changed his trade discount from 25% to 15%. This would increase selling price by how much? So the answer is C. 13, one third percent. So these are the questions which will be asked in your examination. And next, let me take. If percentage of profit made when an article is sold for rupees 78 is twice as when it is sold for 69, the cost price of the article is? Answer is D. So these are sample questions. It depends on the company in which you're applying for. What type of questions they'll be asking? Practice makes you to score better. And there are today several online links available to try on to give these tests. So Gautam travels 160 kilometers at 30 kilometers per hour and returns at 40 kilometers per hour. Then average speed is? Answer is D, 35.55 kilometers per hour. I've taken one or two questions on current affairs. Which Indian state has unveiled the draft of new policy for women 2021? Answer is Tamil Nadu. What was India's target in installed capacity, electricity capacity from non-fossil energy sources to be achieved by 2030? And the answer is 40%. So in your record book, you have to write these questions with answers. Maybe you can take up four types of selection tests and write them with question and answers. The next concept to be written in record book is about email etiquette. Etiquette means manners. So when you write your email for official purpose, make sure, keep it short. Reply to all the inbox. Descriptive subject. The subject of an email describes its contents and attachments in a short sentence. Searchable emails. Keep it organized. If there is already a related email, reply to it. If it has a different subject, create a new one. So there are certain tips which you have to consider when you're writing an email. Use an official email address. Be clear and direct in your subject line. Use professional salutations. Avoid using abbreviations, emoticons, jargons, and slangs. Keep the subject matter short and get it to the point. Be polite. Proofread before sending. Sign the email appropriately with your full name. Acknowledge your gratitude. Understand the cultural differences, if any, and communicate accordingly. So you're going to write about what is email etiquette and what are the principles to be followed and how to make your email effective. The next important content in your placement training is about corporate etiquette. Your manners are always under examination and by committees little suspected, awarding or denying you very high prices when you least think of it. This is quoted by Ralph. Corporate etiquette is a set of mannerisms followed in business, keeping ethics and integrity in view. The basic idea is to create a pleasant work environment. So let's discuss some of mannerism being followed at office. Greet your colleagues and seniors when you meet them. Smile as nobody likes a grim face. Always be well-groomed and observe good personal hygiene. Do not speak too loudly. 
in and around the work area or over the phone. Do not disturb people who are working. Refrain from using loud and unpleasant mobile ringtones as it creates distraction. Stand in a queue. Be it in the cafeteria, waiting for the elevator or any other. This is common courtesy. Wait for people to get out of the elevator before you get in. Don't tailgate in areas requiring special access. Keep your work area clean, litter like food crumbs, track pests. So these are the few corporate manners. The next important is relating to work discipline. So you have to write in a record book. The last content is about work discipline. During your appointment intention or internship program, the company gives you complete details about your work discipline, which has to be followed in the organization. So therefore, it is necessary for you to get all these details either during induction or even before that. So what is discipline? It is an attitude, a behavior that always obey the rules. The important factor of discipline is time and activity. Discipline comes from a clear regulation and rules, a clear job description, a simple standard operational procedure so that all members of the organization easy to understand and how to do their work. So discipline is the ability to do what's important before it becomes urgent. So every employee should know the code of conduct and discipline to be followed in the organization. The company takes corrective actions. So there are certain steps. Step one, in case the occurrence is equal to absence, tardies means delaying the work or miss target or clock's time. Step one, First time, oral warning or verbal warning is given. Second step, a written warning is given. Third, final written warning. And the fourth is termination. So one has to understand what kind of behavior leads to what kind of outcome. So in case of being absent, six days, if an individual is absent for a month, verbal warning is given. Nine days, written warning. Twelve days, final written warning. And 15 days, termination. So in case an individual does not reply, no call, no show, then first time occurrence, written warning, second time occurrence, final written warning, and third time termination. So you have to know how the companies follow these strict actions when it comes to discipline of the organization. So therefore, placement training is an important aspect for you to score 100 marks. And first step you have to do is start writing your record book, prepare for the Viva examination, and try to get your offer letter.